Hi there, you're welcome back to my channel today. It's that time of the year again where we go for summer trips. Last year I visited Poland. I shared the video on my channel. If you want to see it, I'm going to drop the link. And this year I just want to visit like two or three countries if I can, if the time permits and if I have the money <laughs> because all these travels are just expenses, you know. But well, it's good. Travel, have experience and all that. So we've got this guest trip coming up. I am my friends, two of my friends. So the video for us are traveling to so we'll be traveling to Morocco. We're going to Marrakesh in Morocco. So I want to take you along with me <laughs> virtually. As usual, I'm getting ready for the trip. So I've already done my nails, I did it myself. I'll show you the video so to save the money because it's so expensive to do nails in the salon. And if I've got the time, why can't I do it? So I did it. I know it might not be as neat as the ones in the salon, but it's manageable. And I'm going to be doing my hair myself right now. I want to do braids and that will be it. After that, I'll pack my bag. So please stay tuned as I keep you updated on our journey. Okay. Thank you.
So I'm finally ready to leave. I was excited and all oh, until the time on the map kept increasing. At first, I was to get to the airport like an hour for five minutes early. But all that changed when an accident occurred at M4 and the motorway was closed. Then the reroute increased by 40 minutes. I was like, what? <laughs> anyway, I said, well, I still have an hour. Well, after getting out from the diversion, another traffic jam was waiting ahead. And the time kept increasing. Like, I was just seeing I would get to the airport like 20 minutes to the check-in time. I, by then, I've already started having the feelings that I might miss my flight. But, you know, <laughs> I was just being positive. My friends and I, we are communicating. They were like, don't worry, you get there. Just keep coming. We are waiting for you. They got to the airport from the location before I did and they were able to check in and board the flights while still waiting for me. Well, I finally got to the airport, but the desk, the gate, everything has been closed and the flight was ready to take off. I just couldn't meet up and the airline said, sorry, I'm afraid, but there's nothing we can do. You know the usual response? I was pained. <laughs> I messaged my friends and told them to go on. To think about three hours drive had to turn to five hours drive i was exhausted like i was just so tired of the whole thing i wasn't just having it that day <laughs> so i thought about returning home but on a second thought i searched for next available cheap flight and i was able to get a fair deal for the next morning but a different airline so i left stansted airport to gatwick airport because it was an early flight so i literally spent the night at the airport I was filled with mixed feelings, you know, is it the flight I missed, the tiredness, the stress, or is it the money that I've spent? Then, when I remember the excitement of traveling to another country, you know, that experience, I was just in between. I didn't just know what to feel, but I was able to get through the night and boarded a flight early in the morning, and we finally landed at Marrakesh. I, it felt good. <laughs> yeah, it kind of felt good. But I was like, oh, the, all the stress of yesterday finally coming to an end. It was nice. So I tried to get a taxi and I was told I have to get a ticket at this place first. So I changed some pounds to Durham and got a taxi and headed up to the hotel. So I noticed that the buildings in Marrakesh have a similar color just like that of their taxis. Like the taxi and the building, they kind of have this brownish similar color and it was beautiful. So just beautified with the green trees all over the place oh there but the weather the weather was hot the sun was coaching it was boiling like the temperature was about 43 degrees when i landed it was hot the last time i experienced a weather like that was when i was in lafia I mean, Nassara. that's the northern part of nigeria and you could get temperature maybe between 40 to 42 during the hot season that's i think it's, uh, maybe april april may it used to be hot then so I haven't experienced that weather, but this is hotter than that. It was hot. <laughs> I don't even know how they survived there. And I heard that sometimes the temperature gets to 54. Maybe in August, it gets high. And I'm wondering, wow. And they're all living and just moving about their business. It was hot. You could feel the hot air on your body. I didn't even think twice to remove my hoodie. It was hot. But it was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you.
really been a journey. I've gotten to the hotel and it's time for me to relax because, ah, wow, the stress. No, I need to relax and then get ready to tour Marrakesh. So keep you guys updated and just stay tuned. The day one of the video will be dropping on Saturday. I'm going to show you around the places that we visited. So stay tuned and thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking to the end. Do take care of yourself and do not forget to subscribe, support my channel, like, comment and share. Thank you and stay safe. Bye.